This is the new Range Rover Evoque, and I'm actually going to get the opportunity to unveil it. I've never pulled a car off a car, so this could go wrong, but let's give it a go. Got this so much silk. And ta -da, there it is, the new Evoque. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about this car. I'm going to show you around it. I'm going to tell you about its technology. I'm even going to take a prototype off-roading of sorts. Now, this car is all new. The only thing that is carried over from the old Evoque are the door hinges. So here we go, the car wow, top 10 things you need to know about the new Range Rover Evoque. The Evoque has been a hit since the original was launched seven years ago, and Land Rover has decided not to mess too much with the design. It may have an all new body, but it's still rather similar to the old car, only this time with the face and rear more like the lovely Velar. But what do you think about the design? Click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which you think looks the best. The Range Rover Evoque, the Audi Q3, BMW X2 or Volvo XC40. One of the cool things about this car is that it'll learn exactly how you like things set up, both from the smart key and from when it pairs to your mobile phone. So instantly, it'll figure out where you like the steering wheel and the seat position. Then after a bit more time, it'll learn how you like the climate control set, whether you like it cold or hot in the morning. Over a bit more time still, it'll work out who you call most frequently from your phone and when and pre-prepare the system for that. And finally, it'll even work out just how you like the massage seat function. For instance, if you like it nice and soft or whether you like it hard and fast, like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's lame. <laughs> You'll be able to get the new Evoque with a range of diesels and petrol engines. The lowest powered diesel can come with two wheel drive and a manual gearbox, but the rest of the range are four wheel drive automatics. These cars also get mild hybrid technology to boost their economy. A plug-in hybrid will join the range later and it'll be able to travel moderate distances on electric power alone. You can connect the new Evoque to your smartphone using a special Land Rover app and then you can do things like locate it, say if you've forgotten where you've parked it, you can check out how much range you've got in the car in terms of fuel levels. You can preheat it so it's nice and toasty when you get in it or you can cool it down if it's a hot day. You can do some other things as well, such as operate the alarm if you need to, open and close the windows, lots of things like that. Also, you can get it with Land Rover's activity key, and what that allows you to do is leave your keys somewhere hidden in the car, then you can lock the car using this wristband, go off and do some activity, such as swimming, then when you come back to the car, you just dab it on the Land Rover badge, and it'll open the car. The new Evoque has a special system which can prevent you from curbing your alloys. It's called Clearside Ground View, and it uses cameras in the front grille and on the door mirrors to show a live image on the central touchscreen, and then uses computer graphics to superimpose see-through wheels onto the image, so you can see exactly where the real wheels are heading. So, width restrictors like this one shouldn't have your arse twitching. The new Evokes Touch Pro Duo infotainment system comprises of not one, but two 10-inch high-definition central touchscreens. The top one deals with the navigation and media, while the lower one operates stuff like the climate control and driver settings. There's also a 12-inch screen behind the steering wheel, which shows the digital speedometer and rev counter, plus other driving data. Also, you can now get a heads-up display in the Evoque for the first time ever. Land Rover has tried to make this car as eco-friendly as possible, and so they've used up to 33 kilograms of recycled materials in every single Evoque. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is not particularly environmentally friendly, leather interior, and some people think it's not. So you can get some other textile interiors. For instance, you can get a material made out of eucalyptus, which is perfect if you're a vegan. For those who aren't vegans, but don't want leather, there's also a wool alternative. The new Range Rover Evoque costs from just under 32,000 pounds for the entry level front wheel drive manual diesel. Meanwhile, top of the range four wheel drive petrol models will cost around £45,000. If you have adults in the back seats of the Evoque or you want to carry some bulky items but are worried about being able to see out of your rear view mirror, don't worry. The new Evoque has some tech to help you out. Simply flick a switch on the smart rear view mirror and it transforms into a high definition screen that shows a perfect view thanks to a rear facing camera. Being a Range Rover, obviously the Evoque is designed for some proper off-roading and I'm actually driving it now on an urban off-road course. So Land Rover have built a range of ramps and obstacles somewhere 
near Brick Lane in central London and I'm trying to follow what this man in front of me is telling me to do while testing out this car. Hey, look, I did that. <laughs> so this car's got all-wheel drive, obviously. And now I'm not going to need that. What I'm going to need is decent spatial awareness because I've got to fit this car through a gap that's about the same size as the car itself. Fortunately, I've got these guys around me to help me out a bit. So can I get it through? That's a no. I've just crashed it <laughs> into a piece of wood. <laughs> now, this car is actually a prototype, so it will be scrapped after this event, but I'm just helping it along its way. Well, so it's like at climbing this ramp. There you go. Hopefully not going to run over this guy. Whoa. He's a brave chap. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm about to go into what looks like a swimming pool. This car has hill descent control and it's using the brakes to just control me down this slope and into the water. That's my little GoPro probably soaked. There we go, this bit's easy, come on. Yes, power. <laughs> that was a good fun. So I think that's my go on the obstacle course over. I'll just point out a couple of things. You've got the usual Range Rover terrain response system where you can choose different kind of modes for the off-road, like mud and ruts, rocks, and all that kind of stuff. Or you can put it in auto mode if you want, and it'll figure everything out. And then there's this other system up here, which I've already talked about earlier on in the video, where it's got this camera where you can see underneath the car. So if there's obstacles like rocks, you can actually see where they are and see where the wheels are so you don't curb your alloys. It's all pretty cool. The car I'm driving here is a petrol, two litre petrol. I'd like to tell you what it's like to drive, but they're saving that for the launch event, which will be in a couple of months time. So that was a bit of fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs>